Hello Harry Potter fans, it's a Sepulus of Stories back again with another Harry Potter action figure review and this time we're reviewing Ron Weasley. Take a look at that packaging first, the toy company to my up there, Harry Potter, main trio up there, poetry of the character Ron Weasley there and it's Ron Weasley collector's action figure. Back of the packaging you have a prototype image of the figure another poetry and the packaging reads as a battle of Hogwarts wages around them Ron and Hermione retrieve a basilisk fan from the Chamber of Secrets Ron impresses Hermione with his newly learned skill Pyrsulton and as it says there includes a wand locket and illuminator other figures of wave include Harry Potter who we've already reviewed Hermione Granger coming up after this review and three more figures, Voldemort, Snape, and Malfoy. Jake and Malfoy does. Don't know if I'll be reviewing them or even getting them, but we'll see. Anyway, accessories included, of course. First up is the Deluminator. It has some pretty nice detail on it. Nothing really too special, though. Or unique about it, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Give you a bit of a close-up there. Next up is another, not too special accessory, but some fine detail on it is the locket, which is pretty cool. And there's some nice gold detailing on it there. But other than the gold detailing, again, nothing really too special about it. And of course, he comes with his very own wand. Okay, detail looks pretty good. Um, it does look like a nice figure. I've got the overall green colours of the jacket right, as far as I can remember. Anyway, articulation, head, shoulder, oh, apologies, no articulation in the head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, ankles, knees and ankles. The head, like the Harry Potter one, is static, which is quite annoying and disappointing, but whatever. Um... And it does have some really great detail on it, and nice sculpting by Tamai. And there's another Harry Potter figure I would recommend you get. Overall though, out of the three I have gotten, Harry, Ron and Hermione, I would say this is the weakest out of the three. I'm not saying by any regards that this is a bad figure, but it's just not as good as the other two. And the face sculpt is kind of disappointing weird. It just looks like Ron seen a ghost or something, to be honest. It just looks kind of weird if you think about it. But like I said, nice detailing, especially on the check with the contrasting designs, you know, symbols, colours, etc. So that should be that for the Ron Weasley action figure review from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'm going to go ahead and rate this figure, I'd say 6.5 out of 10. There's nothing really too special about this figure, and the static head is quite annoying, and the face sculpt, like I said, is kind of disappointing. I'd rather see an expression similar to that on the character portrait shown earlier in the review. Anyway, hope you've all enjoyed this review, and happy hunting.